Hey guys, so today let me talk about market correction and I want to talk about it in a bigger picture. So I'm going to try to use some stuff that happens in the news and some stuff I'm interested in as well. Market correction is when something goes up a lot for no reason and then a competitor comes in and pretty much undercuts and makes it a reasonable price. Now there was a CEO, he was a pharmaceutical CEO, he was one of the most hated people actually. Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders, anyone who, Republicans, Democrats, everyone can agree this guy was pretty much a jackass. What he did was he purchased a company that was producing AIDS or HIV pills for sick people, for people who, you know, who really need that drug. It's not like a drug that they can go about. So it was $13.50 a pill when he purchased the company and he skyrocketed the by I believe it was like 5,000 percent or I'll have the diagram here but a pill went from 1350 to essentially uh, 750 dollars a pill now he justified this by saying oh well people you know I purchased this company and I will do better technology and I want to help people and I'm really a great guy I don't know why people are so offended so to recap he purchased a company developing medicine for people who need that medicine, who cannot go without that medicine, and raising the price from $13.50 all the way up to, I think, $500, $750. I'll have pictures of him in the little uh, diagram explaining the his behavior, and then expecting people to pay for it. And now that's very... It's kind of like a fat pack, right? Like when a store raises a fat pack from $40 to let's say $80 and they expect people to pay for it. Now, does, do people need a fat pack? No. This is a what much worst case scenario because these people actually need a medicine, right? But this is economics. Now you might say, oh, well, the marketplace is kind of broken there and then the marketplace for fat packs are also broken. Not so. So what happened was a new company came in recently, and I'll have their name. I think the drug is called Drop Drepamine, or uh, but they made a drug for not thirteen fifty. They made a drug for one dollar, one dollar. So they came in. I don't see how anyone would pay. You know, want to pay five hundred or seven hundred fifty dollars? Remember, for one pill, we're not talking about a bottle here, or even a bottle is kind of bad. But we're talking about one pill. The dude raises. Uh, the money up that much just to make a profit from people who are sick now you know another company comes in and undercuts them and now they get good PR they get a I mean that's honestly very amazing to me that they can do that and more power to them and they are going to un undercut apparently they're going to undercut more drugs and you should buy their stock because either way, the stock is going to go up in price or you're supporting a company who's ethical. Now, let's talk about the fat packs. A lot of you were upset. A lot of you were angry. And rightfully so, because what happened was the fat packs at Target and Walmart, they don't get more expensive, right? So where are fat packs getting more expensive? And you're trying to tell me eBay sellers and stuff like that, they don't sell fat packs. There's no way a reseller can buy a fat pack at $42. In Texas, it would be $45, $46. Resell it. Uh, with shipping and traffic, with uh, shipping and tracking at eight dollars, I mean they would have to sell it at sixty dollars to pretty much make a little bit of money, and that assumes that they don't do not value their time at all. And when people are saying fat packs, fat packs, these things are very difficult to ship. They don't fit in the boxes right. Um, they are very difficult to ship, in my opinion, and I don't see how people can really profit from it uh, if they bought it for forty two or whatever Walmart is selling it for at this time. So resellers of fat packs, they just don't exist. Um, I hate to break it to you, like they don't exist in the, you know, oh, let's blame the reseller. Let's not blame the store who's charging $60, $80, which a lot of them did. Let's blame the reseller. But this, this reseller does not exist because the reseller would have to ideally, they would have to buy from a store. So if this logically doesn't make sense because if these, they were buying from the store, to resell, why wouldn't the store just resell it? It doesn't make any sense. And you might say, oh, well, maybe you got a discount. Or they... That's called pre-ordering. That's called making a pre-order. 
a store, no matter how good of a friend you are to that owner, is not going to screw themselves over when they realize, oh, this fat pack sells for $60. They're not going to give it to you for less if they can sell it for $60. The only reason is at that time you provided them a benefit, just like a restaurant app. Yes, I the restaurant pays for the customers from the app and you might say, why do they do that? It's because they're guaranteed orders and that makes a big difference to these stores. So what I did was totally different from what any, you know, it's not what a reseller would normally do because at the end of the day, if the store, I ordered it when it was $28.50, which turned out to be like $30 after tax and stuff. Because it was that was the price. That was the price that it was at. Why would why would someone sell it to me something that's they could sell for $60 easily for $28.50? You would have to be insane. Like you would have to logically be insane to make that move. And now the Walmart reseller is like how are they going to make money from this? Like they have to ship it, they have to track it, they have to go to the post office, they have to do all of this stuff. How? How? So when people are angry and they're you know upset that they can't get their fat pack, just like let the market take care of it. And the market in this case is Walmart. I see them at all the time at Walmart. I see them all, all the time at uh, Target and Toys R Us. Actually, Toys R Us. I don't know if they still carry them, but I know that when they were doing the commander deck for true name Nemes nemesis the toys R us had a ton of them like so many of them so the market will eventually correct bad behavior and you might say oh well you know what you know a store like uh, star city games or i love david adams i don't want to talk bad about them but they did something real bad they kicked it up to 70 and now it's down to 60. I don't know why they did that because their fat packs are a very good price. I mean, you can get a fat pack of uh, any of these sets that just rotated out for like 28, I think right now. I think, no, hold on. Dragon Maze is like $22 at David Adams. But of course, Battle for Zendikar has to be $70. or It's now $60, but it, it used to be 70. Uh, Gatecrash is like 25 bucks. Like what, what's going on with Battle for Zendikar? It's because they can sell it for that much. Otherwise, they wouldn't put it up at that price. So a lot of the anger and a lot of the things are just completely unnecessary in my opinion because Walmart will equalize it. You might go, like, oh, well, so what if the uh, reseller goes and buys them all my Walmart? Walmart just keeps restocking. Like they just keep restocking and that's market correction. So if a product is supposed to sell for $40 and there's enough of them and the demand is not that high, in my opinion, come on, over the gate crash. Oath of the Gatecrash has these. And the booster packs as well. So you can also get foils in the booster packs. You can also get the fat pack, like the bundle or whatever. So the market will always correct itself. So when people like hate the market and they hate resellers and hate stores and they hate Walmart, Walmart would not make any money if they sold a product for too much. A store would not make any money if no one purchased a product because it was too expensive. The market will correct itself and born battle for Zendikar, I see them all the time at Walmart. I see them all the time at Target. And I'm pretty sure they had Toys R Us more because Toys R Us charges like 45 for it. I know the commander deck was more expensive at Toys R Us, but I purchased one for the true name Nemesis because I really wanted that card. Anyway, uh, hopefully that this kind of explains why like I'm surprised that people were angry. Like it's just pure, it's what the market does and the market will continue to act this way forever. Like I don't see Battle for Zendikar being a exclusive event, right? It exactly, actually acted this exact same way for Over the Gate Crash, where I told you guys to go on miniature market, pre-order for 28, here's a post that shows you 28, and then people are upset because they can't get a 28. But what they don't, they don't realize was some dude probably purchased like 10 of them, and another dude purchased 10 of them, or 20 people purchased one of them, and then they had to restock at a higher price, and they're like, wait a second, this was uh, sold out a lot faster. And you know, it's all about being smart with your money and buying products that are going to be good early enough early enough for it to make sense. Um, Battle for Zendikar, in my honest opinion, it will go down to eventually 40. 
uh, because that's what Walmart, that's what Target, and eventually people who buy like all of the batches in Walmart and Target, they will get sick and tired of, and they'll, they'll frankly run out of income, and then they there will be Walmart pack fat packs for everybody. Simple as that. Bye guys.